Always think safety first. Do not operate or work on your machine without reading and understanding the operator and installation manuals. First, engage the hydraulic pump and allow the hydraulic oil to warm up. Turn on the controller and increase the chassis engine RPM to normal operating speed. Phototech each spinner disc and compare the spinner motor RPM. The RPM difference between the two spinner motors should not vary more than 30 RPM. If the spinner speed difference is greater than 30 RPM, take note of which spinner motor is turning faster and which motor is turning slower. Disengage the hydraulic pump, turn off the controller, and turn off the engine. Thoroughly clean the 50-50 valve before any work is done to keep contaminants out of the hydraulic system. Remove the plug on either side of the 50-50 valve. Remove and clean the 50-50 valve spool. Then rotate the spool 180 degrees and reinstall. Reinstall the plug. Start the engine, engage the hydraulic pump, and turn on the controller. Increase the engine RPM to normal operating speed and phototech the spinners again. If the RPM difference between the spinner motors is within 30 RPM, the problem is solved and no other repairs are necessary. If there were no changes in spinner speed, the motor that was running slower is still running slower. Then the 50-50 valve is operating correctly. The problem is with the slower spinner motor and must be replaced. If the motor that was running faster is now running slower, the 50-50 valve has failed and must be replaced. Whenever performing repairs on a 50-50 valve or spinner motor, be sure to phototech their spinners when repairs are completed. If the RPM difference between the two motors is still greater than 30 RPM, then additional parts may need to be replaced. After performing service work on new leader spreader components, spread pattern testing should take place. Reference the Conducting Spread Pattern Tests video for more instructions. For more information and safety instructions, reference the Operator and Parts Manual at highwayequipment.com.